Hi. I just watched a French learning video by a guy called Language Lords. And uh, the video is pretty impressive in terms of production value and in terms of his claims. I mean, uh, French in 30 days. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying the guy's lying or anything like that, but it's, it's quite an achievement if it's true. But again, uh, his method is, is quite impressive, to be honest, if he managed to pull that off. If, uh, if you manage to study 30 days in a row, eight hours a day, I mean, uh, hats off to your discipline and, and ability to push through because my main problem with this system, uh, my main criticism of this is that, that would never work for, for 99% of people. You need a, an obsessive, uh, you need a very specific like Elon Musk type of person almost to push yourself to do something like that. Uh, someone was asking in the comments, what to do if you've got an hour a day only, not eight. My answer to that is, yeah, you should be doing an hour a day. But for, for most people, eight hours a day is not sustainable. Uh, most people don't have the time, the energy, or the discipline to do that. Another problem with this guy's method is that it, it's, it requires you to do stuff that's honestly really boring. Like Anki flashcards, I've used them. You know, those people who learn the most like 80, 20 rule and learn the most common words and all that, you should be re reading and listening. Uh, the most common words are the most common words because they are the most common words. So if you are exposed to the language a lot, you'll end up seeing them anyway. Uh, so yeah, that guy was asking what to do if you've got an hour, an hour a day. Uh, if you're starting from scratch, you should be learning grammar and vocab. And the best way to do that is to read and listen a lot. So reading for the whole hour, reading. And if you're listening to the audio of this with the same reading and listening at the same time, that'd be perfect. You could do another hour of two of listening if you listen to podcasts or YouTube or whatever while you're driving, while you're commuting, doing stuff at home, things like that. Uh, yeah, and once after a few weeks, you should understand quite a lot of the language, if it's a Romance language at least. And then you could start reading aloud a little bit. Some of that reading, do it aloud. It's... It's more tiresome, so you can't expect to do do it for the whole hour. But you could read aloud for like ten minutes and then continue reading normally, and that should improve your pronunciation, get you used to speaking the language, make you see that you can actually speak the language at a decent speed. And yeah, after that, the next stage would be to actually try these kind of exercises that this guy suggests. Which, honestly, the exercises themselves uh, are really good. Uh, speaking, a uh, speaking alone, very effective. Uh, but you need to start doing it in very small, very very small doses. You can't just go crazy and do eight hours. You know, you wouldn't. You wouldn't do an hour. You'd, you'd be like wishing you. No, no, no. just. Uh, do enjoyable stuff. Just read, listen, watch stuff. And in between, do like five minutes, ten minutes. This is like going to the gym. Like progressively increase the amount of time you're speaking alone. Uh, comment of what you've, co comment on what you've been reading about. Or maybe pick a topic of your daily life and talk about that. And just have Google uh, translate in front of you and any thing you don't know how to say you could you could uh, check there and find the words and then say it but uh, making lists of words that's an, an Anki I mean 
it can be useful if you are starting from scratch and you download Anki and you listen and repeat a few sentences a day in Anki. But don't do it more than a few a few minutes because it's really repetitive and boring and it's gonna you're gonna overload your your brain. Uh, stuff is best learned in context. Just read, listen, and speak by reading aloud. And when you start speaking on your own, uh, like language lords, you yeah do very very small doses. Then relax. Like, don't don't. If you want to spend two hours speaking alone, it's gonna be you're gonna end up really frustrated, and it's not gonna work out for you. And don't aim to speak the language fluently in thirty days. This is a problem with today's society. We want everything immediately. We want immediate results. No, just be patient. Have patience. Um, if you work for an hour a day, you read, you listen. You try you progressively speak more and more every day on your own. And maybe with a tutor later on. I I wouldn't recommend a tutor until you can speak quite a lot on your own. Otherwise you'd be just like wasting your time. Uh but aim to increase the amount of time you can speak every day. And the rest of it is spent in reading. Try to speak on your own. And when you get stuck or frustrated, because it's going to happen, then stop and maybe relax and try again later on, but uh, don't overdo it. And slowly, like not in, th in 30 days, but like maybe in 90 days or in four or five months, you'll be speaking well. Just have some patience.